Hey everyone, it's Anne. Thank you for joining me. I hope you are all doing well. I certainly am. It is just a fascinating, fascinating, what other word can we use here, journey that we are all on as we continue to evolve and transform here very, very quickly. Right out of the gate, I want to remind you that I have done a whole series of videos on these energies back when it was all very clear to me. Um, the messages were flying out. All of those videos are so, so relevant today. So for anyone who is trying to understand these energies, um, how difficult they can be, especially for highly sensitive people. Um, when your life feels like it's turned upside down, I encourage you to go through some of my older stuff. It is um, so pertinent if you are called to, because uh, I'm sort of the person, I have a, a very uh, interesting personality. I'm sort of a person that is, uh, once I've said it, and I've shared it, uh, I feel it's almost redundant to continue to share it again. I'm not a very good social media person. Um, <laughs> it really is a tool for me, which is sometimes uh, difficult. I am totally um, sharing everything and communicating more uh, uh, telepathically for those who uh, are tapping in, we're feeling really a synchronicity definitely uh, across many of us who are deeply involved in this work and these shifts and these changes as we rise to different levels of frequency very, very quickly here. So you have to have your wits about you uh, to play this game because we are going through levels extremely fast and it is a lot. So uh, one of the reasons why we may not want to be out on social media so much is uh, it's so important to attune to your own energy, your own space, and to really tap into that which is calling you and to eliminate, reduce, reduce, reduce the amount of confusion in the distractions coming from the field of communication meant to pull you off course. So this is um, such an important thing to remember. Um, I think also for me, I'm being called to a new direction. I don't know exactly what that is yet. I'm also going through um, my second Saturn uh, return. So it's a very big time of change. Um, I have done a lot, a lot, a lot of work a lot of uh, in-depth um, healing, understanding, uh, integrating, uh, energy management, analysis, um, really getting my arms around the true sense of who I am. It's been absolutely fascinating and I have seen so many changes in me since I started sharing this journey with you way back uh, soon after my life altering surgery. So I have had the experience of a 30 year corporate career, um, dealing, uh, raising two beautiful kids. Um, so self-sufficient, but also uh, my major role here is uh, I so value a mom and, and this, this, this whole mission for me is so important. If I can alter and change um, ancestral patterns that um, I have witnessed in my life coming through and projected onto me so that my kids do not have to also experience some of what I went through. So this is why I continue this. Our work is so, so valuable right now. Um, like I've said before, it doesn't matter if um, it's your own way of healing and dealing with it. Each one of us has a very unique role, approach, and personality. So that gets me to a few things that have come up. I mean, not 
underestimating the amount of hugely potent energies coming through right now, which have been mind-blowing, continues to astound me after all these years, how we are moving through these heavy energies. Oh my goodness, just a minute, I need a drink of water. They have been huge, but there's also along with that, been huge relevations in our lives um, major things that have been able to surface so that we can become aware that these these things have affected our subconscious thought patterns and have affected our decisions and our choices and they're coming up to the surface this is why these things occur which is why we go through some of these emotional upheavals so that they are seen and recognized and that we can now appreciate them for what they were and move forward. But some of these relevations are huge. They're massive. And then once we understand that, we have to step back and grieve um, who we thought we were, who we thought people were, and their role in our lives, and really get our heads around understanding the lessons in um, why this may have happened. And there has been many. And then once we learn the lessons, we have to learn how to move forward in this lifetime, um, which has been challenging, not only from the standpoint, it's now currently 1111, boy, the clock has been synchronistic with me lately. Um, it has been, I'm sorry, I just lost track of what I was saying. <laughs> this happens to me a lot. But it has been a, a, a journey of self-discovery. And we have to learn how to move forward through it. And so much of this is surrounding boundaries, our energy management, and energy exchange. So a very key thing to learn is when you're dealing with people in the outside world, when you're dealing with people in your life, uh, it's really important to see where as some, some of us being very empathic, very sensitive, very uh, healing type of individuals would give our power away, share information with individuals um, and not see any return of energy, any exchange and feel sort of depleted and more often uh, some of these individuals that you may have spent time with healing and helping um, take that information away and we get no energy exchange or thanks at all. And um, this is part of the world. Some people are meant to be in our energetic space and some aren't. But this is part of the lesson of what we are learning right now. And those individuals who, uh, it doesn't have to be a one-on-one -on -one perfect exchange, but you kind of know when you're dealing with somebody who is a taker versus we need to be able to receive, to give and to receive. So this is an important energy, an important lesson as we go out there in the world. So, um, it's really fascinating how different this experience and this journey can be for each one of us. And what I have seen a lot of, um, and what I get a lot of, is uh, there are what is considered to be spiritual routines. And um, sure, some of them are valid. Whatever resonates with the individual, I say then, is in fact true. Uh, to stay true to yourself, listen to what is pulling you. The answers exist. You just have to act on them. And once you do, once you start listening to what is calling you, get up, go for a walk. Instead of listening to the voice that is saying, stay in bed, you don't want to be out in the world. Uh, once you listen to those intuitions, uh, your life will start to roll differently. And it's a constant lately struggle, <laughs> it seems, to keep that um, motivation um, to continue to move forward. Sticking to your, uh, to your guns, sticking to your 
true belief in this process to your true, ultimate true self. And even though it doesn't fall in line with the beliefs of others, it is true to who you are, it is your power, it is your passion, it is your knowledge and understanding, and is why you are called to be here. So we are all beautiful, perfect, absolutely amazing individuals, all being called to the table. This is a massive, massive time of change. So don't take it lightly. I know that I'm not, um, and at the same time, trying not to take it too seriously. Um, something that has come up is a spiritual, uh, cognitive, cognitive spirituality. And uh, this is a fascinating thing that I have been able to witness. And I think we're going to see more and more of this. And I want to get into this topic a little bit deeper. But um, there's quite a few individuals out there who rely on others to develop their sense of self. And quite often, we're going to see this more and more, excuse me, jumping on the spirituality bandwagon. And uh, this is a very, uh, uh, something we need to be aware of. Because they can use this information that they kind of uh, morph into watching videos and, and reading stuff. So they have a cognitive mental understanding of what we're sharing, what is happening, um, the energies and all of these things, but it's not being embraced at a uh, applied level. So this is the work in my mind. Again, these are all my views and opinions that I am deriving from many different sources. Um, but we have to embody these new energies here and is the challenge is that we've never got to this level before. Uh, we are expanding collectively here at breakneck speeds and we are changing the world. It's just, we know that we are, there's so many of us doing it. But if you're focused on um, just, uh, you know, sort of the mainstream matrix type of information, you're not ever going to see this. But back to cognitive spirituality is you can be talking to someone and believe they understand and know and have knowledge and get all this stuff, but it's not applied, which means walking the talk every single day and checking yourself as our mental processes have been moving, 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 moving so very quickly, where we can go from one extreme to another mentally. And um, it is bringing yourself back to zero point, to just being, to uh, taking yourself off the path of uh, resistance. And there's so many lessons in mastery. Again, you can see some of these in my earlier videos, there's some great people out there, but it's the consistent application of these learnings in our everyday life that make the biggest difference and change uh, on a frequency level. So when those individuals think they know, you watch their actions, it is, um, doesn't hurt for more and more people to watch this stuff and understand it. But the real lessons here are in applying and truly peeling back the layers of who we are and loving um, our individuality and our personalities and creating that which really resonates with our past individually, each one unique. So that definitely is coming up. Sticking to your guns, sticking to your intuition is every single day. It has been, um, it has been tough. Uh, I have to say it is definitely a, um, a bit of a, I'm going to use the word battle, but it's, it's with yourself. It is with the programs, with the conditioning, with the belief systems. 
that we are breaking through and breaking free of and standing firmly in our power and creating the boundaries necessary um, that we have to have. Um, either we cut people out or we create appropriate boundaries um, that work for us, which many of us have never really used before or understand. And this takes time um, to really master the use of boundaries to really upgrade your ability to emotionally, intelligently communicate and to know when um, to engage and when not to. These are all growing big, huge leaps and bounds and growth. So uh, all of this is happening for so many of us. And on top of all of this, of course, are the massive energies been flowing in like mad, affecting so many parts of us. Uh, so yeah, it has definitely, and we, and we all know, it's definitely a time of major change. Constantly, I am constantly processing so many incoming messages. Um, I think that's part of the reason why I needed to step away is because I was taking away from myself, my joy um, of living by the lake, living by the water, of being outside this time of year, being Canadian. <laughs> um, I sure appreciate it. Um, and I really wanted to come back um, to focusing on me. I'm not done. I think I am being redefined again. I'm, I am transforming it once again, which is my life mission here. Uh, but continue to think about um, all of you amazing people. And I just really wanted to come on and have one of my random chats with you because it's, uh, it's a big time. And I know that you guys are all feeling this. Uh, just really trying to w work through the swings of energies here, the pendulum of changes, um, and accept the fact that and surrender to this wild, wild process. Uh, obviously, uh, something big is happening. Something very, very big is happening. And uh, we are lucky enough to be part of it. So... I keep always keep that in mind. It it may not be my exact choice, but it is a calling I have been given, and um, I will and have been uh, accepting, even though it is a challenging time. Uh, I also want to say that um, we can often put people in spiritual boxes. Uh, we are so good as humans to categorize people so very quickly. We all do it. Um, judgment and characterization. What is, are you spiritual or not? What do you do? Do you fast? Do you yoga? Do you, you know, things like that. Um, which for me, I don't do most things that quote unquote spiritual people do. A lot of it, of course, I I do, but it's all intuitively guided. It, it's what works for me. Um, I'm here to say that you can have disabilities and um, be on this path. And that is, in fact, my case. Uh, I do not really talk a lot about my, um, my physical uh, disabilities, um, which have been very, very challenging for me because um, I always see myself as healthy and well and strong and um, capable and um, with a mission here to harness uh, the universal intelligence for our growth as a society. Um, but I don't fast because I am on a whole lot of medications, so that's another thing. Uh, these are not medications that, uh, these are medications that are required for me to live. Um, and again, it's all belief systems. Absolutely everything is a belief system that you harness for yourself. Again, 
why we may want to slow down on the intake of so much varied information about what is right or wrong for you. So fasting for me is not something that um, I can actually do. Um, I am not very good at meditation in their traditional manner, but I am often meditating in my own quiet way, which is um, sometimes looks like sitting and staring into space. Um, I, I am not called to go to Sedona, I know, um, or really to have group sessions. <laughs> um, my real calling, I, I, you know, is to work through all of these energies at a very high universal level, a high collective level, uh, understanding so many deep aspects of what is happening um, and sharing that out as part of my job is also job, quote unquote, holding a super high potency frequencies, which has been in itself um, a lot um, and maintaining kind of what is a quote unquote normal life uh, in a community that does not have a clue what I do. Um, so a lot of my role is in observation of others and watching how the shifts and changes are affecting them and they don't even know it. And I've seen um, it's, it's uh, observation sometimes can be so fascinating when we stop trying to be uh, in people's faces about what is happening but um, stand true to ourselves, which often means cutting out the need to have a lot of talk and listening to others, really listening to others and where they're coming from, the density that exists within them. Um, so much of a different approach than my life before all of this. Um, so learning about your sensitivity, about your empathic ability, um, another term, ADHD, of course, PTSD, um, INFJ, <laughs> all labels um, that we use in society to make somebody unique and different, but uh, they're all levels, I, I believe, of sensitivity, um, which our society uh, tries to really bash out of us at a very young age. But I'm all those things. So um, I'm all over the place sometimes. Uh, um, my astrolog astrological chart has so many different um, yet powerful energies in it. So uh, I can be uh, different things <laughs> um, to different, I'm the same person all the time. I'm very authentic. It just really comes down to how much I choose to talk um, quite often. Sometimes um, when we just hold our frequency and we listen, uh, that is really resonates with people. Sometimes, um, quite often in my life, uh, people will get uh, uh, ag aggressive toward me. Uh, they don't like my energy. They don't like my frequency. Um, I can often uh, f mirror uh, their densities of self-worth. Specifically, uh, I get I have gotten that a lot. So people can really jump down my throat, um, and it's uh, very awkward. But I have learned now that um, this is usually an individual with. Um, a high level of density or uh, buried energies which have yet to be released and understood. So they are hiding in there and they just want to jump out at you. This is the ego mind. So uh, all of the work I've done, all of the lessons, all of the knowledge, all of the applied, applied, applied learnings have um, really made me grow into this individual that I am today, which means living in a planet of, uh, on a planet with a lot, a lot 
a lot of density so we can really see why this change is needed here um, because it, it needs to be balanced out and it's a hard environment and we are here so many of us um, to kind of realize that this the the level of um, mind ego mind density is so big it's uh, it's so disappointing some days for me if I think about it too much because there's so much potential uh, but it is taken over by the minds wanting to be um, popular and um, famous and seen. So much of us just want to be seen. Um, and tapping into our true essence, into our source energy, knowing that um, there is a big soul happening, going on. Um, that we are divinely guided and this is exactly what needs to happen here is our sanctuary and our joy and our comfort so yeah just so much so so much going on oh, there's so much I want to talk about um, so I'm not done um, speaking uh, I have a you know a role to play here I just I personally and I and I I put this out to all of you is don't force yourself into a box um, I'm really trying to because my life I struggled um, I almost died and um, I had seen I have seen what it's like when you don't have this weight and this density and it's a beautiful beautiful thing and um, you know the time spent here you can feel the the weight of of the uh, the ego mind uh, keeping us boxed in and uh, it's it's hard some days um, you have to be really you have to be yes kind and authentic not always um but you have to also be careful um as to who you share your energy with and as to um your own energy energetic uh protection especially right now so i don't live in a uh, i get out every single day uh, routine is important uh, get out every single day nine o'clock and I walk my dog and I meet up with some other people and I have this dialogue uh, it is even small talk we all need to have engagement and um, even people small talk often bothers me <laughs> uh, so I will not engage very long if it's uh, too much but uh, I think it's important just to connect on any level with people. Uh, you know, this whole idea of being greater than somebody because I have done all this work is ridiculous. Uh, everybody is at their own place and time on this journey and everyone, regardless of who they are, still have something to teach us about ourselves. So I think that's an important lesson to remember here. Uh, I've seen a lot of spiritual ego um, out there uh, mostly on social media so I don't know it's in every day is special is unique is getting yourself up and determining how your day needs to go realizing that it is a flow through this multi-dimensional experience sometimes we're not truly attached um, you know, the 5D experience is something I've been living with. This whole energetic theme is just part of my life. It's like, oh, okay, yes, I'm feeling probably a high KP index. Um, I really, it's, um, it's absolutely amazing when you start attuning to, uh, to these changes that are obviously happening here and not resisting them. It takes time, though. 
So watch my other videos. If you guys, any of you new to me, um, there's so much more that I want to share and I will gather myself together. I think probably um, in the fall will be when I um, come back. I really just want to relax uh, and enjoy going through my second Saturn return. Um, and it's been uh, quite nice. I'm so lucky to have so much nature around me. It truly is um, the most gratifying experience for me is being close to nature, close to water, close to forest, trees, grass, uh, dogs, <laughs> animals, birds. Um, that is my happy, happy place. Anyway, guys, a bit of a ramble. You know me. Um, I am a Gemini moon, so mm. <laughs> I'm all over the place sometimes. Very tied in intuitively. Uh, so much happening. Love you all. Interesting. Interested to hear um, any comments you might have. Great talking. Bye.